Cape Town, we're in a place called Hoots Bay, is that right? Yeah, I think so. I'm just making it up. And today, we're going swimming with bloody seals, mate. Oh, my nan, Craig, I can't wait. Honestly, God, we saw a seal yesterday, and I was like, oh my God, look at him. Like, I couldn't believe it. And the guy was like, have you never seen a seal before? I was like, all right, mate, you know, I don't live in South Africa, and I see them every day. Like, I was excited. I can't wait for today. The pictures I've seen of this looks incredible. There's a class. Hopefully you don't have a repeat of yesterday. I've taken something new today, something that the guy, um, they're prescribed, so I'm hoping they're going to be quite hardcore, you know? So I know I'm feeling good, but the only one's on the boat, so I feel like if I get sick, we can just come back. It will be fine. But I'm not going to come back, because I think I'm going to want them to leave me out there. I'm going to go and live with the seals. Mum, I'll see you later. <laughs> How are you feeling, kid? I, I feel actually great. I don't know, I, I've got a good feeling about today. It has to happen for me, Craig. Like, <laughs> I can't come here and just be sick on everything. But I feel fine. <laughs> That's the, the uh, what's it called? Travel sickness tablet. Travel sickness tablet's dissolved. It's a wonderful day. Yeah. So this is Gavin from Extreme Scene, the legend who's been helping us out with everything. Yeah. Got a full crew today. Introduce yourselves. Uh, Steve Benjamin, uh, seal snorkeling extraordinary animal ocean. Look at that rig. And second camera <gasps> for We Are King Ed. <gasps> yes. And what's behind you? Sorry, oh, wow. Well. Hey, look at this. <laughs> These are the Cape Fur Seals, guys. I'm Jamie, by the way. Um, if you looked at that first guy, I don't know if you noticed, he had quite a bad sore on his chest. Um, that is plastic and pollution, the one next to him has oh, also no. got something really tight wrapped around there. So it's rope, it's fishing line, it's um, bits of plastic and the seals are super, super inquisitive animals and unlike us ungrateful humans, they don't have fingers so when it gets stuck around them, they can't get it off and it just grows into their skin, it strangles them, oh, no. it cuts into them really badly like that, causes sickness and infection and unfortunately it ends up killing them as well as other marine life but it's, it's quite sad that that's happening. So if you see any trash lying around, let's do our bits and pick it up and anything at the yeah, island. We do, like, we do a lot of these yeah. cleanups all the time to help our seals. Uh, this is where they'll come to have a little sleepover. So I just said, if you just drop me here, you just go on ahead without me. This is where I'm going to live now. <laughs> so cool. So cool. There's one up there that the guy said um, he's absolutely massive, not supposed to be from here. But he's seven years old, he comes back every year and he's blind in one eye. And he tries to hug the rest of the seals, which are like this big compared to him. <laughs> and nobody likes him because they think he's weird. So I'm just like, <laughs> it's like, is he friendly? Like, I'm a friend of them. And they were like, no, so uh, better not go near him.
back on dry land. That was one of the best things I've ever done. I know we say that quite often, but... We don't. We do, because we do a lot of fun stuff, but... Man, it was so amazing. It was so magical. There was just seals flying around all underneath you. Amy didn't spew, which is a win. Thank everybody. <laughs> Amy didn't spew. But it was great, wasn't it? Like, so cool. I could tell how much you loved it as well. My face is hurting from smiling so much. It just, it is magical. And you never think you can get that close to them. We actually got in with them, do you know what I mean? And they just swam up to me and they, they like, they just go either way. They're so fast. I Crazy just fast. loved it. I did. It was wonderful. I think the best part for me as well is whenever we do these things, we're always with the GoPro or we're having to think about a shot to get to, you know, film it. Yeah. But Steve was there, like, filming it for us. So we were, like, hands-free, just really enjoying it and living in the moment. He had the most wonderful, massive underwater camera. And now Craig's just like, yeah, we need one of those. De definitely not Craig's. Too big. We're not going to be able to carry it. It'll go in my hand luggage. It'll just be a mess. It's happening. So, um, 10 out of 10, if, if you're thinking about doing this, then 100% you need to come and do it. And it's you not need scary. to do it with these guys. Yeah. Because... The day was, they made me feel so comfortable. Honestly, like I'm not just saying it. They were, they were great to me. They did everything they could to make me feel happy and comfortable. Like, and at one point I was like, oh, I think I need to go back to the boat because I was getting a bit tired. I think the tablets made me a bit drowsy. And um, Jamie was just like, yeah, grab on. Like, I'll just tow you in. And she just swam me in. And like, anytime I needed anything, Probably she was like, Are you okay? You need anything? Honestly, no. Brilliant, brilliant company. Yeah. The friendliest people we've ever met. I think this is the best part about what we do is, you know, not just doing all these incredible activities, just the beautiful people that we meet, just lovely souls, Honestly. like like-minded people. They're just on our wavelength and it's yeah. just wicked, isn't it? We just love it when we meet those people as well, don't we? Yeah. You just know, you just click, you just have a great time with everyone. Yeah, because it, it's strange, like when, in, the, in what we do, you know, our line of work, you email people, you try and, you know, collaborate on activities and things like that. And sometimes people can be really rude to us and, and just sort of think we're trying to get a freebie for nothing. But sometimes people get it and they appreciate what we do and then you just get on so well. Yeah. So yeah, it's just been a brilliant morning, hasn't it? Brilliant morning. I, I absolutely love Cape yeah. Town, man. It's so beautiful. Like I the scenes great. off that boat. We've been here for two days. I know. Only two no, days. This is our first day here. We haven't. We, this is our first day. Overall, brilliant. Ten like, out of come, ten. Like if you've got a big birthday, if you've got anything like holiday, anything you want to celebrate, come to Cape Town, honest, honestly, and do some of this stuff because it's magical. And also give Gavin a shout from Extreme Scene because he's been so helpful. Because because we've been so busy, we didn't have time to plan much. So we emailed Gavin and he was like, "Yeah, leave it with me." Sort and he just sorted it. All. He'll he'll sort any trip you want here. So thanks for sorting this out, Gavin. It's been bloody brilliant, yeah. mate. How good is this picture that Steve took, by the way? <laughs> That's actually the best thing I've ever seen, honestly. That's so cute. <laughs> Mad skills. Next time on King and It, South Africa. <laughs> Um, we're going to try and get the dogs up there somehow. <laughs> That's wicked. Don't let them drop. Oh.